you guys, today I'm gonna to give you a quick tour of what I currently keep on my iPhone. It's nothing too special. Actually, I think it's the bare minimum. But let's start from the beginning. You guys can see me in this wonderful reflection. Beautiful. If you open my home screen, obviously it's the date, Sunday, February 19th, and it says, good things come to those who hustle. And that reminds me every morning to like get up Entering the home screen, we'll start at the very top. Um, one thing I am very much not good at, let's let this focus, come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. One thing I am very, very much not talented in is directions. Therefore, the first two apps on my phone are Google Maps and Apple Maps. Trust me, I use them plenty when trying to get around the city for various things. And then to their right, I keep all of my photos and I do a lot of filming for YouTube on here. You can see that's one coming out later this week. But all my photos are in their albums here. And then camera, of course. There we go. And below it, I have my clock so I can set the alarm. I like to keep my general settings right there towards the top as well, because I typically do change like passwords or the uh, touch, the touch pass. I don't know what that's called. Whatever it is, it lets me not type in my password. And then every morning, I always like to know before going outside, what is the temperature? And if for all that are curious, for Columbus, Ohio, it's 51 and cloudy. That brings us to our first folder, which I titled Social Loves. I have, obviously, Facebook, Messenger, Gmail, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Google Photos, which helps me so much since I film a little bit on my phone. When I need to clear space on my phone itself, I can just move the pictures into Google Photos and then take them off of my cell phone. What I use to kind of help track my health and my caloric intake is my Fitness Pal, and then this Google Calendars is a mesh of my music school teaching schedule, my work schedule, editing schedule, social schedule. It's pretty much everything. I do need to start putting a workout schedule on there so it's just not sporadic. And then, of course, everyone's favorite, at least mine, is the Starbucks app. To think that this wouldn't be on the homepage is a lie. There it is. Woo! Yeah, I don't, I don't ever do these because it just requires you to go out and buy specific things and I ain't feeling it. To the right of the Starbucks app is my Chase app. That's how I do, you know, quick pay, transfer money, check bank accounts, pay bills all that fun adult stuff. And then to its right, I have extras, which have things that I rarely use but have to be on here, like a compass. I do use voice memo. I do not use contacts. Does anybody use the contacts? You have contacts on the phone feature. Why do you need this extra? Someone explain it to me. I do use the calculator. Rarely ever use the app store because I have everything I need on the phone. And then the health app, I really only use because it automatically tracks your steps that you take each day. Reminders I use just because I tell Siri, hey, remind me to do something and she'll do it. Uh, the ADP is for me to log in and out of my work. I don't have to clock in and out, but if I want to request time off or sick days, it must go through the ADP app. Oh, reloaded. And then because I am a musician and singer, Cute. that was my boyfriend. <laughs> I have a piano app, which let me turn my sound on. Oh, it is on. Let's turn my volume on. And then of course in the back of extras are more of the things that Apple makes you have on your phone. Podcast, FaceTime, which I sometimes use, uh, backup assistant, find your iPhone. If it ever gets lost or stolen, it'll find it. Find Friends, which is what I believe to be a stalker app. Um, the iTunes Store, which is ironic because I don't have iTunes on here. And Wallet. I don't know why I can't get rid of the iTunes Store app if I don't have iTunes on here. Next, below it are Notes. And if I come up with an idea of something that I want, oh, see, there's a YouTube misconceptions idea. I always put my YouTube ideas on here or to-do lists, or if I'm updating something on Instagram, I always just use my notes. As you can see, this is very full. Sometimes I take um, notes from like musicals or shows I'm working on. You can see act two on here, but lots, 
lots and lots of notes. Leaving notes, last thing on here in the front screen is the calendar. I usually just keep this up here so I can see what day it is. I don't really write anything here because it is synced to my day job Excel calendar, my, um, my Outlook. This calendar is synced to my Outlook at my office. And then the ones I have at the very bottom are phone, obviously, Safari, even though my boyfriend really wants me to get rid of Safari and get Google Chrome, I think it is, uh, my work mailbox, and then text messages. And I did say earlier that it was my birthday, so you'll see a lot of like, thank you for birthday messages. If you see yourself in here, leave a comment down below. These are just basically friends and people wishing me happy birthday and all that good stuff. Other than that, that is the base of what I have in my phone. If you liked this tour, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button to be updated for any future video. Leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations of good apps to put on your phone. I'm always willing to try new things out. Uh, if I do like them and their games, I'll probably put them on my iPad to keep space on the phone. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh, it's shutting off.